Hey, this is Greg Milby, Kentucky's Heartland and Kentucky'sHeartland.com, sharing the people, stories, and events powering the Heartland. And today with me is Carrie. Carrie Ray. Hello. Hardin County Playhouse. And uh, I had no idea that you were part of the Hardin County Playhouse. That's the, the beauty of community theater. Well, before also, I had red hair when I did the theater a lot. And I've recently gone to the blonde. But I've been involved with the Playhouse since 09. Really? And I've been in dozens of shows. See? Lead costumer for I about five I knew years. Things. I don't yeah. know anything. You don't know anything, Greg. I know what I got nothing. Get with it. I have no skills. I do know that you guys have a production coming up. We do. Harvey. It is. Is coming up and you, <clears throat> Fancy Pants, are the director. I am. Is this your first shot at that? This is my first uh, time directing with Hardin County Playhouse. I did direct once before with the Kentucky Railway Museum for their Mystery Train dinner theater. That's many moons ago. But this is my directorial debut with Hardin County Playhouse and I'm so excited. Good. And the other cool thing about this is the first show of our 50th season. So is that not the coolest thing it ever? It is. <laughs> you know, Hardin County Playhouse has, as Carrie mentioned, been around 50, the 50th season for this. Yes. And it has been a mainstay in this community. And I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what the future holds for the Hardin County Playhouse because I know big there's... Things. There are big, big things in things. the future. Yes. Yeah, it's been kind of a struggle over the last couple of years. We had a little few trips and falls, a mm -hmm. change of venue. Um, we are grateful, so very grateful. ECTC, thank you so, so much for giving us a space to continue on into our 50th season. Without them, we would be stuck. So, uh, so grateful to them. Um, but the future, the city of Elizabethtown has uh, donated a parcel of land to the Hardin County Playhouse for a brand new state-of-the-art theater for our community theater and we are in fundraising efforts for that right now if you'd like to donate go to our website you can go to Sicilian Bank um, contact any of the board members through the website uh, we've got a lofty goal to reach but it's going to be an 8,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility for our community theater and to bring the arts into downtown Elizabethtown and it's exciting uh, it is very exciting and, and the place where it's going to be uh, it's, just, it's just yes it is a great thing so Harvey the first production in this season yes of the 50th season. All right. So it's a comedy. It is a comedy. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, one, we're going to, uh, while, while we're talking about it, we're going to put this up on the screen, too. There we go. So people can <clears throat> see when they can uh, watch and, and, and enjoy Harvey. So, so tell a little bit about Harvey. Harvey is a comedy written by a playwright named Mary Chase uh, in 1944. It also takes place in 1944. So we're stepping back in time just a little bit. Um, it was made famous by the movie with Jimmy Stewart. Back okay. in the 40s, okay. and, uh, and that was a super popular movie, but it's a cast of 11 people, and we have, uh, it's centered around a gentleman named Elwood P. Dowd, who is the most congenial, proper southern gentleman. Actually, this play takes place out west, mm -hmm. but so polite and kind. Everybody loves him. Everybody knows him. Um, the problem is his sister, Vita, and her daughter, Myrtle, live with him, and they are embarrassed by Elwood, mm -hmm. because Elwood has a friend named Harvey. Okay. And Harvey can only be seen by Elwood. Okay. At least that's how we think it is. Okay. As the play progresses, you realize that uh, is Harvey really there? Is he not there? Who sees him? Who doesn't? Hmm. Is he anything really? Or who knows? That sounds like a scary So comedy. It's not scary at okay. all. It's actually funny. So Harvey's a puka. A puka. A puka. A puka is a Celtic uh, mystic animal, and they're very mischievous. There's nothing uh, malevolent or evil about him. He's a prankster. He's a jokester. I'm a puka. You're, oh, you're a puka. I'm, I'm somewhat of a puka. <laughs> I've been called a lot of things. I've not been called a puka. Uh, so, anyway, these characters, there's a... Uh, Mer uh, Vita, the sister, wants to have Elwood committed to a sanatorium because he sees this rabbit and she's tired of dealing with it. Hmm. So she goes to have that done and she accidentally admits that uh, sometimes she might occasionally catch a glimpse of him, so hmm. they lock her up. Oh, crazy. And, Don't uh, give me more away. I'm not going to give any more away. away. But the, hilarity people to spend money. the hilarity ensues through all of these uh, ups and downs and qu twists and turns of what's going on here with this big rabbit. So people that have been to the Hardin County Playhouse, you have a lot of uh, the regular community folks that yes. participate in productions yes. that get cast in that. Mm -hmm. who, um, who are some of the people maybe they have seen in the past or who um, are so some of the our, leading roles? Uh, our Elwood P. Dowd is Jeremiah Schilling, who has been in, oh, I'm going to hazard to say at least 
30 or 40 productions. Okay. He has been in just about everything, and he plays Elwood and does a phenomenal job. Uh, people are also probably familiar with Gwen Hodges, uh -huh. and she is playing Vita. We have a few newcomers that, um, well, since I've been back, like I said, I had a three-year hiatus when I left to go to Charlotte for a while, but uh, Mackenzie Hewer Hendren plays Myrtle May. We also have... Um, Mitch Curry, who is a staple of Hardin County Playhouse, he's playing Judge Gaffney. And then we have some newcomers, which are new faces, and we always welcome new talent at Hardin County Playhouse. It gets stale when you use the same old people, and community mm -hmm. theater is all about giving everybody an opportunity. I don't Even think they're going to like you calling them old. But well, they'll, they'll have to deal on the director. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, well, that didn't take long. There we have it. Um, all right, all right. But we, we love new talent. So if yeah. you've never been in a show, even if you think you couldn't be in a show, just come give it a shot. You know, we Just call it community theater, but it's a, it's for the community, but you become a community when you are a part of the Oh, absolutely. We're a big family. Huge family. And okay. you find a place where you can go where if you've had the worst day of your life and it's been a horrible day and your boss is fussing at you or the kids are going crazy, you get to rehearsal and suddenly the whole world opens up and the weight is lifted off your shoulders hmm. and you are just in a world that's accepting and wonderful and you get to be somebody else for a couple of hours that's good and it's amazing it's right. so relaxing and uh, uh cathartic i think would be a good word yeah for that i can't spell that um hardencountyplayhouse.com is the <laughs> website you can go there and uh there's ticket information there mm -hmm. that you can get those tickets i know it's a ticket yes. leap but there's, leap. there's a there's a link for you to find it out there also mm -hmm. they have a uh, social media their Facebook page, if you want to see that, Hardin County Playhouse, you can yes. go there. And I know there's some pictures from there are uh, from some, rehearsals. Some of the rehearsals and that. So uh, it is such a cool thing. Just kind of a little bit of the info again, September 6th through the 8th mm -hmm. and September the 12th through the 15th. Adults mm -hmm. are $15. Now, we have the first weekend is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. And there's a matinee on Sunday. At 3 o'clock. And then the very next weekend, it goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Correct. Sunday. And Fifteen dollars for adults, but that Thursday night we have an opportunity for students. For students on Thursday, it's ten dollars for students. So, if you're any any student anywhere, any school, bring your student ID. I mean, we can always tell the little ones or mm -hmm. our students, but bring your student ID from your university or college, high school, and you get in for ten bucks. Right. You can't beat that at all. So again, it is. Uh, we'll give you all the rundown once mm -hmm. again. Uh, actually, I'll take that graphic off of there so we don't cover it all up there. But uh, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, that's it, it's a Sunday. There's another typo. Man, I thought I had them all caught. Greg, get your stuff together. I'm telling here. you, I got nothing. You would think <laughs> that, okay, this is not a professional operation. This is just about information. Yes, it is. All right. So um, excited for it. Get your tickets mm -hmm. because there is an opportunity to sell out. You don't want yes. to wait at the door. And this to get show these is this show is a classic, and it's one that um, a lot of older people are going to understand and remember. But this, there's so much funny things in it that I think younger people are going to get a kick out of it too. Yeah, and it's an intimate place to watch. Yes, you're, you feel like Very you're part intimate. of it. The stage is so close, and the actors are so close. You feel like you're in the show. Yeah, if you sneeze, they may hand you a hanky. Exactly, literally or there. you might need to wipe your face off or something. <laughs> so that'll do that. That's good. So are you excited? Are you nervous to, for the director um, role? I, I, I'm nervous in the, in the means of how I get nervous when I'm in a show. And I will have the tickly butterflies in the dressing room, and then they'll call places. And I'll get to my place, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh, what are my lines? Do I have, Am I even in this show? Did I, did I get a script? Mm. And then the overture starts, and the music starts, and the lights go down. And when they come up, it's gone. And suddenly I'm whoever mm -hmm. I need to be. And it's that same kind of anticipation and adrenaline that I'm feeling now only for 11 people all right so <laughs> September the 6th through the 8th a week from today that's crazy and then again the following weekend yes it is Harvey at the Hardin County Playhouse at the ECTC Science Auditorium and you got to you got to go by please got to check please it out. come see us please come see me I'd love to see you yeah and 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 she would like to have your money too no, actually, I think I think you're gonna I think it's gonna sell out. I, really I hope do. so. I hope so. I really, I really do. do. Support your local community theater. It's so important to have arts in the community. It makes us a well-rounded, uh, progressive community. Um, I love sports, and that's a big part of our community also. But there's some people that just aren't suited for that, and mm -hmm. this gives them another outlet. That is so that. please support arts in your community. It's so important. All right, HardinCountyPlayhouse.com is the website. You can find them on Facebook as well. Get out and see it. Harvey, and that is 
just around the corner, kicking off the 50th season yes. of Hardin County Playhouse. She's Carrie. I'm Greg. And this sure? is, I think so, at least last time I checked. There you go. And this is Kentucky's Heartland. Thanks for watching. Thank you.